So this is just some of the cars in the car teleporter pack. There's a link in the description, but in this video, we'll go through one of the fixes of Riga car that was bugging me and how to fix it to make your car move and steer and all that jazz. Watch, is this ad car? I don't know what this is. Make it editable. Let me just quickly jump on cycles. That's, uh, that's looking pretty nice. And this is what all the cars look like. However, you know, they're good to be standalone cars. However, we want to animate them and we'll use a free add-on called Rigger Car. Now, this has been breaking my brain for the past two days on trying to fix these problems. It's a terrible workaround, but I can get them working. The cars are all rigged and they're all ready to go, but you just gotta, you just gotta, just gotta do a few things to it. So the issue is that the steering isn't baking and... <clears throat> So let's go ahead and unground ourselves. What? Shift A, let's add in a curve. I am going to add in a NURBS curve tab into edit mode so we can see it. And I'm just going to kind of just make a bit of a path for myself. There we go. All right, cool beans. Nice. Okay, next thing we need to do is add a road. So Shift A, mesh. I'm just going to add in a plane. Let's jump into the modifiers, add modifier, array. And we'll just increase the number there. Let's go ahead and add in a curve and our curve will be our NURBS curve. You can see that it looks a little bit rough as guts. Let's increase the scale on the Y axis. Going to come back onto the NURBS curve, change the resolution preview all the way up. Um, and we will just give it a little bit of extra geometry in there just to make it a little bit more sharper. From here, we've got to attach the car to the um, path. So let's select our car. Let's come into the pose mode. And first things first, I'm going to select the bottom here and we need to put ping it onto the curve. So let's come over into the bone constraints, bone constraints, not the object constraints, the bone constraints, add bone constraint, follow path. And we've only got one and it's moved up into there. Let's just go animate path. Uh, we're gonna follow curve and you can see that it is going backwards, that's fine. Forward axis will be minus Y. And so now it follows the curve. Now the issue is, is it seems like the car is in the wrong spot. So according to the documentation of the Riga car add-on, there is a little bone here. This should be the central rotation point. So the way to fix that is we click on the object data, go into the Delta transform, and we're just gonna move it forward a little bit until that bone is sitting on these wheels. I mean, the, the curve, sitting on the curve. However, you can see that the front is completely out of whack. If we come over here and we go into Riga car and we go bake steering, uh, I wanna do probably, let's just say 100 frames, even though that's a bit much. You can see we've got all our keyframes. However, they don't translate to the location of the steering. So the wheels will remain straight, even though they kind of should be facing this way. Now, dodgy fix incoming. Into animation, we come over into the graph editor. Let's now go control C to copy all these keyframes. I'm going to select our steering bone here, I, and I'm gonna insert a location. So if we expand these out, let's now, since we've copied this, I'm going to hide the steering rotation. Let's get rid of Y and Z location. Make sure we come into frame one where the animation starts. I'm gonna press Control V. Now, still hasn't fixed it because the wheels are pointing the wrong way. Simple. We can see here it's roughly sitting at this point. I'm gonna go scale y minus one and let's kind of just move that back up nice however it steers a little bit and not enough so from here i'm going to go scale y2 and if we go gy and line it up roughly where it is it looks better now it's not perfect but it'll do and so here we've got the car now following the path Obviously, it's not following the rotation of the road. So let's come back into layout. Sorry, it's not rotating its wheels. Let's now go bake wheel rotation, whatever, 98 frames. And technically now if we go in solid mode, 
we should see that the wheels are rotating. However, if they're not, just ensure that your ground plane is selected and then go ahead and bake wheel rotation again. Yes, please. And now we will have a car that is sliding, is it? No, no, it's rotating. Yeah, so that's just a nice easy way to get you started. Check out the car teleport add-on. Massive range of cars, even the interiors are in here. So if I go hide, 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 whoops, too much hiding. Like the interiors are in there are looking pretty schmick as well. So yeah, check it out.